Away from that, a hybrid waste to energy power plant has been commissioned at the Jankoba in the Atrima in Wabeja municipality of the Ashanti region. The 400 kilowatt facility can convert 12 tons of waste into biofertilizer and energy daily and has been funded by the German government through the Federal Ministry of Education and Research. The 6.2 million euro project is stepped as one of the solutions to Ghana's waste management and power generation challenges while generally reducing the health hazards from pollution and climate change. Mahmoud Nuruddin reports. The project is considered one of the solutions to waste management in Ghana. Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Kwekua Friye says the hybrid project is timely to address to address serious waste management issues. I'm delighted to see the deployment of these technologies, that is biogas, pyrolysis, in the dealing with both organic and plastic with waste management in addition to the harnessing of the sun for energy generation in the country which tackles nine of the SDGs that is SDG 1, 3, 6, 7, 11, 13, 14, 15 and 17 According to him, government will continue to engage stakeholders to present innovative and sustainable projects to help address many challenges facing the country. Government has and will continue to engage stakeholders to come up with innovative and sustainable projects just as what we are witnessing today. The hybrid waste to energy project has come at a time when major cities like Accra and Kumasi are facing dire challenges in finding final dump sites. Indeed, the highlight of this project for me is the utilization of municipal waste for generation of power, which could be the sustainable alternative for curbing the waste management challenges facing metropolitan municipals and districts and regions in Ghana. Dr. Friye points out that the plant will help to generate power as well as produce biofertilizers for farmers. system for multi-purpose applications including tackling the problem of waste and generating power as a byproduct by converting waste into useful energy. This innovative 400 kilowatt power hybrid waste to energy facility will harness energy from solar PV panels, biogas and pyrolysis technologies to treat municipal solid waste. Let me take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, the German Biomass Research Center, the Universität Rostock, and the Ministry of Environment, Science, and Technology and Innovation. Caused by the COVID-19 pandemic we heard about, all those involved have driven the project forward with unprecedented commitment. Everyone involved showed great flexibility. For example, a plan for refuse to rift fuel with plastic recycling is now being used instead of plastic paralysis. Thus, the scientific question of how plastic waste can be recycled sustainably in Ghana will still be addressed. Plans are advanced to build 10 more of such plants in other regions across the country within a period of 20 years, a report by Mohamed Nuruddin.